I am gaming. I am gaming. I am gaming podcast. Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest episode of I'm Gaming Podcast. This is a podcast about the gaming industry, entrepreneurship, gaming nostalgia, and many more cool things I find to be in the same realm of business and creative ventures. This episode is episode 202, and it's going to be a pretty somber one because it's going to discuss the ongoing crisis in the entertainment industry we can safely say that it's an ongoing crisis in all industries because we're presently on a precipice of a recession we've been dancing on that precipice for some time now but it seems that it arrived in the global entertainment and game development industry which is going to be bad news in many different ways. But before we get into all those not so pleasant topics, I first and foremost want to thank all my Patreon supporters for making I Am Gaming podcast possible. Even more so in the present economic circumstances, I really appreciate your each and every one donation. Be without you, without it, I wouldn't be able to continue wouldn't be able to continue making I am gaming podcasts so once again a big big thanks to all of you and thanks for being here for I am gaming podcast now like I said this is episode 202 and it's about the hard season for game development across the world because what is presently happening well a lot of companies are laying off developers and shutting down teams that is taking place right here in Serbia, where I live, Republic of Serbia and Europe, but I know that there is a really similar situation across the world and it impacts a range of development companies. It is enough to Google layoffs and game development and the things you'll get are pretty depressing and pretty worrisome, especially for the coming period of the winter time late fall winter when we count in all of the issues that are taking place presently across the world both in geopolitical terms with the range of conflicts very serious and massive conflicts taking place in several locations armed conflicts of course but also the ongoing el nino which is wreaking havoc with the northern hemisphere and its climate these are all pretty bad news elements pretty bad news segments and they are piling up and putting pressure on basically all industries but game development in particular and the same is not only worrying for the present situation it is also worrying for the time to come early 2024 does not seem like it's going to be any different in fact the situation could be even slightly worse with the contraction of the economy meaning that there will be less money to be invested in video games or video game projects and less opportunities to find a job, keep it down and continue creating games or start creating games. I'm going to go into that as well. But instead, many teams will likely hunker down and hope to ride out the storm. Even though the present storm is not that dynamic, it's again the concept of recession is something that is debated by politicians and economists but no matter if we're officially in the recession in our recession or not things are pretty bad for the global economy i mentioned juniors juniors and people who are just entering the game development industry it's going to be the hardest for them because there won't be many opportunities to start working in the game development industry or to get that first essential job because like i said many projects will shut down but that is even more prominent for new projects and projects that take on people without any experience with the junior experience level because these tend to suffer the hardest during periods like this so when it's all counted when it's all taken into consideration it is clear that the fall the autumn season we're presently in is going to be pretty tough the same goes for the winter so if you have a job in the game developing industry take care of it <laughs> try to keep it if you're looking for a job if any opportunity comes around 
I think it would be a smart move to take it. I mean, that's basically a smart move anyway, but now in particular is going to be a smart move because any opportunity that comes knocking will not be easily replicated all on its own quickly after that because like I said I'm pretty sure that the number of opportunities number of projects is going to go down and keep going down at least until early 2024 best case scenario so there you have it a pretty depressing pretty bleak episode but we have to have those as well hopefully you managed to stay on the top of this dark wave that is presently washing over our reality of uh, especially our economic reality and that a uh, brighter sky and easier tides are coming in as quickly as possible thank you so much for being here thanks so much for watching there is a range of ways how you can support me but the simplest easier cheapest and quickest is to just subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos if you can do that, I will be eternally grateful. That's it for me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Have a great week and I'll talk to you precisely seven days from now. Until then, bye bye.